Welcome to the Blessed Hope. Uh, this ministry is by our family. Every night we go through a particular part of the Bible as we study. We, as a family, are inviting you into our study. That the Bible says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I do these studies with my family so they can grow in the Lord, so they can know the Lord through the Word of God, by the Word of God, of the Word of God. It's the very importance. And we invite you to listen, to share, to learn with us too, the Word of God. We ask that you uh, share these, to give full liberty of sharing to your friends, to your family. We ask that you use these videos for the edification of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that you abuse not these videos. They are to work for the Lord Jesus Christ, for edification, for growth. We thank you. Revelation chapter 10. And I saw another mighty angel. And we've talked about that. I mean, he just these angels are powerful. And there are mighty angels. There are angels that went to Lot's place and caused the men to be blinded. There was an angel that destroyed most of the Syrian army. Came down from heaven. So if he came down from heaven. In the eyes of John, so John's back on the earth, watching all this stuff that's going on in the earth. John has done what every Hollywood movie has attempted to do. He has gone into the time warp. He has gone into a time machine. But it's not a machine. It's not a warp. It's the Spirit of God by Jesus Christ and God the Father. Whenever year this happens, the tribulation, uh, I'm going to just say for, I am not dating the tribulation or anything, but let's say this begins at the end of 2017 with people on their cell phones and cars driving around, airplanes. John would be spot in 2017 looking around like, oh, this is weird. As he would see what's going on. Now, I am not dating nothing. I'm just trying to show, for example, where John is. He's been put in the spirit to wherever this happened. 17, 18, 20, 2014, I mean 2040, whatever. Come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud. I well, like that. He's wearing a cloud. I've never seen a picture of, a, of an angel with a cloud. And a rainbow was about his head. Well, the Catholics got it wrong. They got rainbows around their head. This is the only one. I have seen in the Bible that has a rainbow on his head. And his face was as were the sun. Very bright. White. No mere mortal can look at this guy. He blinds you. And his feet as pillars of fire. Ouch. And you're going to draw wings on him. <laughs> I was drawing this guy. He'd be interesting to look at. I'd like to see a picture of what this guy looked like. And he had in his hand a little book open. Now we got another book in the book of Revelation. We saw the book that had the seven seals. That no man could open. Now we have a little book. And he set his right foot upon the sea. Well, that's interesting. On the sea. He, he's kind of floating like Jesus did. And his left foot on the earth. And again, that sea would be the main topic of the Bible is Israel. It's the Mediterranean Sea. And cried with a loud voice. And I laugh at that one. As many people say, oh, you're screaming, you're hollering. You would not want to hear the angels because they've got loud voices. As when a lion roareth. Look how the lion keeps showing up. Chapter 9, chapter 10. And when he cried, seven, there's another seven, seven thunders. 
Okay, interesting. Seven thunders uttered their voices. What's the voices? And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, not the angel, not the seven thunders, seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. All is not written inspired or inspiration. There are many things that John told us that Jesus did and they're not written. There are things you find in the Bible that this prophet said and you go back and they, well, we, we can't find it in there. Paul says that as the Lord said, blessed, was it blessed is he, something like that. And you can't find that in the Gospels because it wasn't written down. Not everything has to be written down. And as far as this revelation, it was spoken and God says, you're not going to tell them what they, what, what they said. They're going to have to figure it out. They're going to have to wait to that moment in that time that this happens. So anybody would say, oh, I know what the Bible says. I know all about the Bible 100%. All right, tell me what verses 3 and 4, tell me what those thunders said. Really? And don't even give me no answer because it says it's sealed. We just opened seven seals on a book. Now this book here has been sealed. Don't write anything. And the angel which I saw, again, saw, stand upon the sea and upon the earth, lifted up his hand to heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever and ever. He's making an oath. Who created heaven, you mean not the Big Bang, and the things that are therein, and the earth, and the things that, that therein are, and the sea, and the things that and the things which are therein that there should be time no longer all right let's look at it. no evolution angels believe in the creation of God now we're getting to hear something here this angel has proclaimed that we're getting to a point where there'll be no more time and we'll see that between Revelation 19 and Revelation 20 there is coming, there, let me say, before Genesis 1, when God made the sun, and he said, these would be seasons, time, blah, 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 blah. Before that, there was a time in God's history that there was no time. Now we are sun, moon, stars, planets, clocks, <coughs> time, month, days, years. There's coming Revelation 19, 20, that we're going to go into eternity future. And when you sing, when we've been there 10,000 years, that's a lie. Because there will be no 10,000 years. There is no recorded of time. Nice song. Really. Uh, but that part's wrong. So you won't be able to count your age in the eternal. There is no age. There's no birthdays. There's no date setting. There's no calendars. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be made should be finished. Excuse me, as he has declared to his servants the prophets. So at that time when eternity begins, all prophecy has been fulfilled by all the prophets. They will be all fulfilled 100% by what God has already prescribed in our time zones. And when it's all been prophesied, when it's all been finished what has been prophesied, God's going to seal up time and say, that's it, we don't need it no more. Here comes new heaven, here comes new earth, new Jerusalem. And you can never say, well, it's getting late. There'll be, there is no lateness. Uh, Monday morning, gotta get, no, there is no more Monday morning. TGIF, there's no more Fridays. 
the, you know, the, the midnight, there's no midnight. So, when we get the glory after Revelation 20, the great white throne judgment, Revelation 21 for sure, that moment we get in there, you go on in your new body without sin, without pain, without sorrow, without suffering, without tears. You just go on and you go on. And there's no end. Jesus was the Alpha before the sun, moon, and the stars. He will be the Omega to the church and those Jews in the new earth. And the vo voice. Not a bunch of women sitting around a table that should be making dinner for their families. And the voice, which I heard from heaven, spank unto me again. This is the one that said, don't write. And said, go and take the little book. This is the book that the angel had. Go take the little book, which is open in the hand of the angel. And stand upon, the, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. <clears throat> and I went unto the angel. I wonder how long he went like, you know, <laughs> this guy is powerful. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, give me the little book. Didn't say please. And said unto me, take it and eat it up. Ezekiel 3 had a roll to heat. John gets a book. A roll and a book are the same thing. Take it and eat it up. It shall make thy belly bitter. Ooh. A lot of people believe that this little book is a book of Revelation. It's going to be hard to swallow when you're living these times. You're not going to be able to stomach what's going on in these seven years if it's the book of Revelation. And it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And that matches Ezekiel 3. When you put it in your mouth, oh, it's the word of God. It tastes so sweet. It tastes so good. And you start reading and it's like, oh, man. Lord, I want to thank you. I'm not going through this book. You mean after all that, they're not going to repent? Mm. There's a possibility my lost family is going to go through this. Ooh. Wow. Mm. Take a Tums or Alka Seltzer. It's hard. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it. Oh. You got to wonder. Is this the kind of book that, I mean, is he eating paper? I don't know. I just think about those things. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as it, as soon as, as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. It will stick to the stomach. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again. Before many peoples, and nations and tongues and kings now how do I remark on that last verse let me ask you since the Bible has been in the hands of people that's what I say. who has opened and read the book of Revelation In every King James Bible you get is the book of Revelation. Even perverted modern Bibles got the book of Revelation. It may have been changed, it may be altered, it may, but it's still there. And I can safely assume, I'm going to safely assume, that any church has been advanced in years, they've been in the ministry many years, have at one time or another have 
done the book of Revelation for his study. I guarantee if you were to go on the internet and do a search, the book of Revelations, the, the Antichrist, uh, the, the horses of apocalypse, uh, apocalypse. I bet you, I bet you would find tons and tons of audio and tons and tons of video. It could be. I, I hope it is for for God's well-being and praise to Jesus' name. The Book of Revelation may be open and what read in the White House tonight. It could be read in the Kremlin. It could be somewhere at a coffee table in Israel. Someone could be open reading this. A preacher may be preaching about it tonight or preached about it Sunday. And it holds firm to what God has said. Many people. Revelation and the Bible is going all the way around the world. East to west, north to south. And yet our soldiers can't take the book of Revelation in the Bible into Muslim area countries that we are supposedly protecting the people. Our soldiers are not allowed to bring a Bible. It's forbidden. And nation. Since the time of the book of Revelation has been written by John and set forth, nations that are no longer nations, and young nations such as America, as young as she is, Revelation has been there. And tongues. I wouldn't even know how many, how many books are out there with the book of Revelation. In whatever language that country is in and Kings the Bible says the book of Revelation in the Bible has been in palaces you want to try that with the Koran you want to try that with uh, a missile and not only that, but also read and studied. This book is prophesied. I can stand on, on the street corner that I preach Saturday, and I can do a book of Revelation study telling them what's going to happen. And I would be speaking the, the, the prophecy that John wrote. This is going to happen. Again, I have no idea when it's going to happen, but it will. I guarantee it. I'll put my soul on that because that's what I trusted. My soul, based upon God, is the fact that God said it's going to happen. That's what faith is. 